This is the D-30, a classic artillery system that both rebels and government fighters are now firing into towns and cities in Syria. It's a powerful gun. In October last year, D-30 shells hit the Turkish town of Achakale, killing Omer Temuchin's wife and children. The town lies on Syria's northern border, and the strike remains one of the most serious incidents of spillover since the war began. The D-30 is one of the most common artillery systems in both Syria, where it makes up 20% of its arsenal, and globally. More than a quarter of all the world's countries have the D-30 in their stockpiles. It has a faster rate of fire than other towed guns in Syria and can fire 75 shells in an hour. Each shell weighs 22 kilograms. Most artillery systems can fire explosive shells without the user being able to see their target. The D-30 can fire its shells well over 15 kilometers. Indirect fire system, by definition, can't see its target. So it's lobbing something blind. Now, you would normally hope to have an observer on the ground who's very well trained and he can direct the fire and bring it from, from outside the precise target area by ranging shots into the precise target you want. Well, you have to ask yourself whether the people who are firing these things actually have those trained observers, whether they have um, a good communication system that comes from the observer back to the gun line, uh, and you also have to take into account the fact that there are ranging shots. So this is a populated area. You're not actually necessarily hitting the target you want first time. Somebody's bringing you closer into the target with three or four shots. So where are those other shots going? 